Max Roops. Oh my god, I should do something about that. Mm. Seeing as how we have to fucking leave anyway. Yeah. Where does this start us? <laughs> oh my god, I should do something about that. Oh, it's, it's frozen. It's frozen. What a great way to start the stream. There's a cat above me. <laughs> can see that at least. <laughs> and then you can see him crawling up there when I just. <laughs> when I was by me. Uh, okay. Now we're streaming. For, All right. For realsies. Make sure the cat doesn't fucking eat our shit. No promises. I don't need money. I need... Time. Taylor. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> How are we supposed to give this fellow enough water? Whatever it is. Oh. Oh. You've been adventuring all around over the place and stuff. You got any ideas? I do, but can I do it yet or do I have to activate it first? Uh, do I like shit. talk to him again and be like... Yeah, so what's what's what did what happened to you the first time you played this? You got here and then you just looked all over the game until you found a thing. I looked literally everywhere in this area, mm. and then and then eventually I realized some, something mm. helped me realize. I probably talked to Fee a bunch of times, and she was like, "You no longer need to be here. This uh, isn't where you find the thing." At least she tells you. Probably eventually. Yeah. I don't. I don't specifically remember that, but knowing Fee, she what about tells right you. right here. Secret tunnel. <laughs> oh, you can hookshot over there. Oh, cool. <laughs> I thought that was just a fucking suicide window. Mm -mm. For all the people that couldn't figure out how to get in there, so they killed themselves. Oh my god. What? Is this like a shortcut? Fucking cats, get out of here. <laughs> I'm trying to... No, I think it's probably for like a heart piece. Mm. Yeah, see this guy up here. Oh, there's a, there's a cube back there. You're gonna get smacked, cat. <laughs> she just cares about the board. Woo! See him go. Come here, yeah. <laughs> this is Zelda. Yeah. While we play Zelda. Mm -hmm. Just make sure the audio is good. Is my voice usually that high? Is my voice usually that high? <laughs> you do a good high voice at least. Like, like a little girl. Like, I'm a like in that one Snapchat where in the, when we're in the smoke shop and in the background you can hear, Hey Mike, can I have another dog? <laughs> hey Mike. <laughs> and, then, and then you're like, when we watched it later, you were like, it sounds like you're babysitting someone. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know why, but it's like, when we're in, like, anywhere with sound, ooh, when we're in, like, anywhere with sound, your voice, the higher, the lower pitches of your voice just get drowned out, so all you can hear is the higher pitch stuff, you know? Um, I just have a high voice in general. You do. And you talk higher when you're talking to someone that you find attractive. Which is you, which is the only person which I talk to. Which is you so. is not a complete sentence. Fuck you! Oh, it was an office reference. I thought you might get it. Oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> when Dwight's like, I need to do some... I need to talk to whoever about this. And then Jim's like, which is you? And then he's like, which is you is not a complete sentence. I remember that. Mm, I disagree with. I did. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said. And that's not a complete sentence either. <laughs> I say I disagree with a lot. <laughs> I disagree with. I <laughs> just like it as a saying. Hey, it's over here now. And then there's one there and there, and we're gonna go there eventually. And probably there eventually, right? Don't we have to go to the. Oh, wait, no, we gotta go there. Right. The fun, fun island. Yeah. And this I want guy. you to travel to all of them. Really? No. This isn't the game we're trying to 100%. Yeah. I mean, it's still fun. Kind of. To just. Yeah, even if you're not 100%, there's mm -hmm. shit to do. It's nice. That was kind of gross. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Guys, why can't you be mine? Na, 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 I got you locked up in my... Damn it. I wish our friends would come back. I know, we had a bunch of people guys. here earlier. Watch me push out of the Colossus and they, they ain't. They'll be here soon. Maybe. <laughs> they forgot about <laughs> come us. Come back, friends. <laughs> but the people watching this on YouTube, though, we uh, love you. Thanks for watching yeah, this far. For, yeah, the yeah. whole first four minutes of this stream. Yeah, right. <laughs> a big moment. Should I go to Beetle first or to the Bazaar? Make it another 20 seconds. 420. Went to the Bazaar. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, well, I wasn't I listening your, to you anyway. I liked your joke. <laughs> this boy. Hey. hey, kid. Okay. <laughs> Should I upgrade my shield if I can? I can't, so I won't. Bird feathers. You catch them by catching birds. Nice. Humble weed. Uh, iron bow. Upgrade your wooden bow to an iron bow. Was it worth it? Would have been more worth it against that boss. That was probably not worth it at all. Oh, hornet larvae. I like the speed. Mm. Upgrade this? I have enough stuff. Yeah, why not? Bow gloves? I mean, even though we have the bow now. <laughs> it's like the same in uh, Twilight Princess. You know, you get the... You get the you get the slingshot before the first temp temple, and it helps you through that temple. Then in the second temple, you get the bow. Mm, and then it makes the the slingshot useless. Yeah, you like never use it again. Same with like. I mean, it doesn't necessarily make it like obsolete, but you get like the spinning top, and then you just never use it again. Yeah. And same with the iron ball. I mean, you use it for certain things. But oh, yeah. Right? Did you even remember that the iron ball was in that game? No, you get exactly. that in the snow temple, right? Uh huh. That's my favorite temple, I, though. Yeah. I love it so much. I love that. I love the idea of it. Like, it's really cool. And it's like. Temple. They just don't really ever do that. I... With, like, the. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> learn. She's a limp biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> hey! I can have hey. the treasure now. I guess that's a good enough reasoning for, uh, or, like, Dowsing you know, and stuff. Yeah, to, like, get that upgrade, too. Mm. Should I buy, like, an upgraded bomb bag or a quiver? Just buy stuff so that you can, you know? I'll check Beetle first. He's usually got more important stuff. Yeah. Even though the wallets are the most important thing. You see, if I was paying attention to oh. your question before, I would have said... Go to Beetle. Go to Beetle. I gotta replace my batteries. Oh, we haven't gotten batteries. This is some high-action <laughs> gameplay. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> you... Throw those out, I guess. Radio Shack batteries. Oh my god. I bought those. Radio Shack's out of business. I know. I bought those forever ago. Let's see if this works. Please don't explode in my face. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh my god. They're dead. They are? What about this one? Let's try it. This is just one. I'll try it with both of these batteries. If I use a battery with two different, if I use two different batteries with different charges, yeah, it'll, it'll will, work. Will, will it explode though? No. <laughs> <I've heard laughs> will that. it explode? I've though? heard that before. No. Haha, <laughs> sucker. <laughs> What's yep. up, bro? It's Jay. Oh, hi What's Jay. <laughs> you have a new name now. Yeah, Jay. Guess what? I made my first money streaming today. Someone donated. I was so proud. I was so proud too. Someone made or someone. Donated three dollars and fifty cents to me today, and I was very flattered and honored. Also, we don't have batteries. Oh, <laughs> you got the flu. I'm sorry. Us uh, sucks. From what? How do you even get the flu? From people who have the flu. Well, that's why I don't associate with those such such of those people. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We need to find batteries. We grab the TV remote. Okay, we'll be we'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> First off, I'm gonna get the cats to stop fucking playing with this shit. Man. Ah, it's my butt. I think the Roku remote takes double A batteries, right? Does it? No, it's triple A. Triple A. What else uses batteries? Double A, specifically. Are most definitely closed. Really? Yeah. No. That's nine volt. Okay. How about? What time is it? Um, eleven fifty-five. Yeah, Walgreens is closed. Do you have any other Wii remotes that there might be batteries in? Maybe. I think that's AAA also. Yeah. We didn't come into this prepared. Oh, this was our whole plan. <laughs> okay, we gotta find, we can find batteries somewhere. Does 7-Eleven sell batteries? Oh, yeah! No doubt! We could go to 7-Eleven. Let's do that. Okay. I thought we had... Oh, never mind. Never mind. 
Okay. Change of plans. Oh, right. We're all hanging out tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to stay up all night tonight playing Skyward Swords, yeah. so La like, at least you'll be in on our tiredness. Yeah, the, the save file uh, thing told us that we stopped playing at 5 a.m. <laughs> last time, yeah. Yeah, our last session. Okay, change of plan. We're going to run to 7-Eleven. Going to keep the stream on. Mm. Yes? Yeah, you can like just say in the chat or something that way if anybody comes in. I don't know. Is that how it works? No, I think they have to be in the room for it to... Mm. For them to see it. Well, at least this is here, so they'll know. Like, okay, they must have gone out. I've been sleeping. Batteries. I've been sleeping for fifteen hours. I'll probably be up too. Lol. <laughs> good. Um, good thing to sleep though when you're sick. Uh huh. Especially fifteen hours. Drink lots of water. Mm -hmm. Eat lots of cats. And then you can join us for our stream all night. Uh huh. And we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna run to Seven Eleven. I'm just gonna cut this out when I upload it to YouTube. Mm. Oh. Okay. So, Zelda. Oh, Zelda. Okay. These are our cats, too. Did you meet the cats yet? I think you did. <laughs> I feel bad. You just took them out of the room and now we're going to wear Yeah, Jay, if anyone comes in, can you tell them that we went to get batteries because the thing died? That'd be great. <laughs> um, yeah, keys, wallet is somewhere. Where's my wallet? Oh, is here. Where's my wallet? Are we going to walk or drive? Drive. Okay. Fuck that. It's even past... Well, it's only slightly farther than the Walgreens. Mm -hmm. Where's my wallet, though? My Wawa. Okay. You see my Wawa? Okay. Oh, it's right here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. Wait, so you want to walk or drive? Drive.
we're, we're back. back. Bought some lottery tickets too. <laughs> Feeling lucky. Feeling weird. Let me think of an analogy. Just imagine for a second. What if Russell Westbrook never knew his own mentality? Grew up on a farm with the biggest commonality. Where people that conform to the ruralist locality. To Russell, though, it was nothing but normality. Everybody liked the kid and dug his personality. Oh. Thanks for the host, Jay. How do I move it over? Uh, middle click and then drag it right. Oh my god. Yeah, right. Oh, right. Okay. Wait, what? No, it's gotta be in the middle. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, we're just there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Uh. Sit down. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Batteries, no. You alright? Okay, we got batteries. Yes? Okay. Ow. I want you to say, I don't want to be here, but I don't want to night and sleep. Do, 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 Lotto tickets. Yep. Lottery cards. Huh. One of them. This one. Blingo bingo. Bingo bango. This one. Nine nine nines. Nine nine nines. Lucky number nine. This one. Monopoly. Yep. I chose it because I had a cat on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, we have batteries that work. Sorry for the inconvenience, but here we go. <sighs> There we go. Okay. Is this like one hole? Set the yeah, that's one hole. Go on. I know, right? I'm down. <laughs> I just feel like off. Maybe you should put the thing in front of you just in case you have to re-censor and stuff. No. I'll do it for you. Oh, you know what? That's actually a good idea. Can I do that from the pause menu? Yeah. I'm just gonna check it. Outside his apartment, and the government can't track where he lives. <laughs> Obviously. I'm gonna spend six hundred dollars on this. Sh Think I would look cute with a bowl cut like Beatles? Uh, Sha. You oh. probably look like Scout from *Tickle Mockingbird*. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I don't care about those medals at all. I don't even care about having two extra pouches, but it's a thing to buy. <gasps> Should we let him out? Yeah. Cats are trying to get out. They're banging on the door. Uh, I don't really want to buy anything else. I'm, I'm Audi. Do you want to make your wallet bigger? Yeah. My wallet? By collecting gratitude. Oh, no. I don't care about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you spent a ton of movies in them. <laughs> Why am I. Uh, uh, oh, more tickets! Why am I still falling? <laughs> what the fuck? I just jumped off of a platform. Why? Did you jump or did you fall? I jumped. 
And I was falling for like a really long time. Hmm. Alright, I'll jump from this one. Weird. It's not a platform. I'll jump from this one. This is Xerxes, everybody. Everybody who's not here. Oh, I forgot you have to call your loft wing. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it fell. I thought it came automatically. How much have you drank? Zero. Really? Not drink a little bit. Get on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I can play. How much you want to play? Okay. I'll scratch it. <laughs> no. Oh, right. We're going to the other area. Go green. Save the environment. Hey, Sensei. Watch Jaden. Just watch a clip of her community recording where I can't remember that scene. Looks after it gets trapped from recording drinking tequila. Yeah, I read online that um they had to re uh Justin Roiland is the voice actor. And I read online that they had to re record a lot of season two because he was drunk for a lot of the time. <laughs> oh Justin. Yeah. We also just found out that Justin Roiland well, I just found out that Justin Roiland is in um uh, Adventure Time. Yeah, he's Lemon Grab. Yeah, which is really weird to me, but it fits perfectly. I think the Great Tree. I, that's what I think too, but like, can we go you? inside the tree again? Yes. Yeah, uh, maybe. Oh. I feel like... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I thought so that maybe work? it was like... Um... Hey, you can jump down and grab that thing. Or... I think actually go back to the map and then warp to um what? like Lake Floria or Floria Waterfall. Is that where she is now? I think, right? Xerxes. Maybe smell. since I'm here, I should just check real quick. I uh, thought she was in the tree the whole time. Yeah, okay, you can check. Can you grab me a coin from somewhere? Like I, I think had a coin. I think there's one under your laptop. Yeah, I fell on the floor and bounced off. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Sneak attack! Sneak attack! Okay, what do I do? Oh yeah, fuck you. Oh, fuck me. So these are my two numbers. Now those are the winning numbers, and if one matches, then I get the win. I don't know. I'm not paying attention to you. You know what? Just for the sake of garbage consolidation, I'm gonna get my burger first. Oh. <laughs> I feel like this is where I'm supposed to be. Mm. One of the winning numbers is blank. What does that mean? This guy wasn't here before. Um, one of the winning numbers is blank? Yeah, there's no number there. I don't, I don't know. Get eight. Maybe you just like don't have a winning number and now you only have two instead of three. Mm. <laughs> number was 12 and we got 11 and 13. Aw, close, <laughs> close enough <laughs> for me to count it as a win. <laughs> yeah, but not enough. Not close enough for them to count it as a win. Alright, number 9. Come on, me. Hold up. <laughs> How does this one work? What is it? The nines. Oh, I don't know. I've never done that before. Don't you do it! Oh! No. No! Yeah. 
Nothing. I hate the lottery. No, you love the lottery. <laughs> Wait, what? What? This is where I just was. What are you doing? I don't know. You should play. Kitty. Okay, you want to scratch this one? You got better luck than I do. Oh, yeah, because I went, I went the wrong way. Here oh. Okay, is this the last one? You didn't yeah. win any other ones? Nope. God damn it. Right? Are you sure? No, we're not going to 100% this game, but we'll probably 100% a few others, because we're... I don't know if I've told you yet, but we're trying to play through every single Zelda game, like I did that one time. Like, in chronological order. Uh, excuse me. And, um... So right now we're on Zelda uh, Skyward Sword, which is the perfect, uh, first game in the timeline. Kitty, you want to chill out? Do you need to move them? Maybe. Uh, Skyward Sword is first, then comes Minish Cap, then Four Swords, then Ocarina of Time, I think. And then at that point, we're gonna just decide what timeline we want to go to. We're probably 100% like... I want 100% Wind Waker and Twilight Win Princess. At least. Those two were really good. I kind of want 100% Majora's Mask, too. Cause... I would do that. Majora's Mask is a lot of fun. 100 At least get yeah, all masks. At least, but like... Mm. Let me know when you do OOT or Majora's Mask. Okay. That's not gonna be for a while. Like, like we're almost done with Skyward Sword right now. Um, and then Minish Cap won't take that long. Uh, uh, four Swords will, will like take one session. That game's not long. Really? Yeah. I've never played a lot of them. Like Four, four Swords was just like a short Game Boy Advance game. You know, um, that was like a filler timeline game kind of thing. Mm. Uh, it was fun though. It was nice. I think I remember it coming out and just never buying it. You know what's here? Back the fuck off. <laughs> Ten, three, and nine, two. One, a two, oh. hoo, a three. A three. <laughs> Was this inside the tree or not? Nah? No, it was at Florida Waterfall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, can I borrow this? Hello, can I borrow this? <laughs> <laughs> the quantity of water has an 85% chance of putting out the flames. Oh, oh kitty. That was violent. <laughs> she yanked her neck back. I didn't. You pulled her while I was yanking her. Ah, tomato, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> It's you. Tell me you were mastering the power that dwells within your soul. Are you mastering the power that dwells in there? Oh, you wish to borrow my water basin? <laughs> it's covered in piss water, but okay. <laughs> I was in there for I was three in there months. For... <laughs> Do what you want. I have recovered, and I have no intention of soaking in it again soon. Be gone with you. It's yours to use as you please. Cool, now we gotta leave, get scrapper, come back. Mm. You will need to enlist the service of that train. Oh, oh, okay, you don't need to leave for that. Oh, okay. nice. I'll call him at once. I think we just remember this being so hard because it took us so long to figure out that that's what we needed to do. Yeah, but now that we know that we just come here. Mm. Be, like, I bet even later on the side quests aren't that bad. It's just so much running around and figuring out how to, <coughs> how to do it the first time. <laughs> right. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. Came out of nowhere. <laughs> Cargo looks very heavy, but it's well within my payload tolerances. <laughs> Master Short Pants. That's not my name. Watch Are you sure? Watch carefully while I demonstrate what a real hero looks like. Bzzzat. <laughs> Jason, bless you. As, Thank you. as usual, I, will, <laughs> I shall await you in the skies above. Okay. Hey, Jay, can you do me a favor? and unfollow me for like 30 seconds and then follow me again. I want to see if my uh, node fire works. The task here is complete for the moment. We should return to the sky so we can set course for intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> uh. 
Such phasers? Too fun! <laughs> What's that? Though? I don't know. <laughs> Such phasers? Too fun! It's definitely from something. Unfollowing. Yeah, and then just give it a good, like, 15 or 30 seconds. I don't know how long it takes to, uh, have it, like, reset. You're right. Like, these are so much work, and it's it's nice to think that you're paying for the experience, but it's... You're paying for the money. <laughs> you're paying for the money, and once you go through all that work for no money, it always feels a little bit sad. Yeah, a little demeaning, even. Like, I've got so much more to do, and I haven't even... No? Yeah, huh. I have followed the movie. That's why it annoyed me when you would buy, like, the crosswords, or the ones to take... It's just because, so like... Long. Like, I'm spending a dollar or two on it anyway, and so, like, if I'm gonna be doing that, it at least should be fun. We should just buy, like, one $25 ticket from the city mm. and, uh, let's see if see how that goes. They've got $25 tickets. They have one $25 ticket, and they have, like, eight $20 tickets. If I don't at least get $25 back, I want my money back. <laughs> <laughs> It's so weird when people, like, come in knowing exactly what they want. What do you mean? Like, they'll just, like, go in, grab their thing, and then... Yeah, like, because for the pick three and the pick four uh, well, things... Uh, I, don't, I don't speak my language. So, there is there are type of tickets called pick three and pick four, where, like, you pick your own... Lottery tickets? Yes, mm -hmm. where you pick your own three numbers to play, or your own four numbers to play. And, like, there's this one guy that'll come in and be like... Give me 424 on pick 3, and then this thing on pick 4. Do them straight box, day and evening, mm. for one dollar. And I'm like, how do you, how, how many tickets have you bought that you know exactly what you want and mm. why you pick those, you know? It's like, I always told myself that if I was ever to, like, pick 6 or 8 numbers, I don't know what exactly it is for, um... For some kind of lottery, but, like, have you ever seen Lost? Nope. Oh. oh, that that number sequence though. Yeah, that he, <laughs> that Hugo does or whatever, yeah. whatever his name is. Also, I just remembered why this pissed me off. It doesn't send you to the temple. It sends you to the beginning of the area, and then you work your way to the temple. Oh, it's so annoying. Just send me there. Like it's already worth bad enough that I have to leave. Like you already thing. know where it is anyway. Why yeah. do you have to? It's dumb. I mean, it's just extra gameplay, but it's padding. It's, yeah, it's it's like care. there's no other purpose for it. You can warp to the exact place that it is. Yeah. So He's why like, not do that? He, he was like, "Oh, you should have said that sooner." Now we're already here. Guess we should commit. No, it's not that <laughs> like, hard. Set it down for a day. Oh, excuse me. God, I'm so gassy today. I don't think it updates. Also, how did you set that up? Um, go to um. Go to streamlabs.com, and then you can, um, and then you can connect your Twitch account to it, and then there are a whole bunch of, like, widgets that you can add onto OBS, which is what I use for streaming. I don't know if you use OBS, but it's a good one. Do you stream? Yeah, he recently started. I don't, I haven't seen him stream a lot, though. I don't think I get Twitch notifications or anything, but, uh. I'll go follow you whenever I have a chance. Yeah, I follow him. I'm a moderator in this chat, I think. Mm. Jay, are you a moderator or mine, Jay? If, if your name will show back up again. I don't understand what that means. Just like he has more powers than your average chat person that comes in. Like, hey, like, has this always been here? What are powers? What does that include? So, like, while I'm streaming, I don't want to be, like, banning people and timing out people and stuff like that. And so moderators have the ability to be like, if someone says something offensive, you can time them out for a while. Just be like... Hey, don't do that. And then so Jay is not a moderator. Let me let me make you a moderator, man. Like, see, I can time him out. I can ban him. I can mod him. So I just modded him. Maybe you had modded him, but when he unfollowed you, it changed, you know? Oh, maybe. maybe. Damn. Yeah, that's like... Six working a full-time job and also trying to stream or do anything on the side is really hard. Because, uh -huh. like, you get home and you just want to relax and go to sleep and even like I don't know what? even streaming is not necessarily relaxing yeah it depends on the I mean, like I had fun playing with Shadow of the Colossus earlier yeah but it's like not something that you would decide to do after working an 8 hour shift you know yeah I bet 
because it's just like that's entertaining a group. Yeah, like the reason we haven't streamed as much as I would like to is just because work, you know. Hush, hush, little kitty. Did it says I have 34 followers now? Are you sure like your refollow went through, Jay? I mean, I know this is probably boring, but I'm just, oh, now it's back to 35. But it did not. Update. What the hell? It didn't do the thing. It did not. It might only just be because he was already a follower, and like it only counts new followers. But it notified me of someone holding the torch. Is a good sign. Um. We all just cat. Just really trying to figure out like how this thing works. Oh, pick it up. Oh. I should have bought the big quiver. What? I should have bought the big quiver. Now that I can actually... what, you, what is that? A quiver holds arrows. Oh. That's weird. That's a weird word for it. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's like... That's weird. Fuck you. Can I just... Oh, fuck fucking... Jesus. Fucking fuck fuck. <laughs> <laughs> is it a long one? It is. I'm glad you're doing the long one. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bingo one, so I have to like. Mm. Like look for all the numbers and. Yeah. <laughs> so far, it doesn't seem good. But you know, we're not even halfway there. Yeah. Not even the number yet. Not even the number. <laughs> Oh, is that a bear? <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> I'm going to have some game Sorry, I'm still a Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not you, Aaron, though. I don't care about you. Hey, that was a bad one. I care about Aaron. Less so. <laughs> I don't think I'll see this. I'd feel bad. I was just kidding. We love you both equally. It was just funny because he only apologized to Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? Oh. What? I thought I crossed off the wrong thing, but I didn't. Mm. Is this right? Yeah, I guess it's right because all the enemies here. Cersei's is very fascinated by this. It's, uh, fuck off, dude. Um, it's just, uh, it's busy a lot, so, like, there's not really a lot of downtime to do your own thing, which I miss about Radio Shack, but it's still really nice, and I like working with people, and it's fun interacting with, like, customers and stuff. Um, I have a sword now, like, in real life. I'm into it. We almost bought a master sword the other day, but it was only plastic like one? yeah, I think it was plastic, and it was only like two feet long. So fuck it. Okay. That a uh, dragon star store or whatever. Mm. They have pretty cool swords and stuff like that. Uh huh. Oh yeah, I see the sword. Oh, I thought yeah. I don't kill this guy. Why is that? Is that because you're a mod? Is that way you have a sword. Yeah. That's what it is. Oh. Get eight. I'm attacking my cord. Come here. Have I shown you the new statues I oh, bought for my display room? I don't know which ones. <laughs> don't you dare tell me I have to start over because of that.
<sighs> you fucking bitch, dude! What? What happened? You took too much damage and I gotta start over. This is so dumb. This game really falls apart after the halfway point. I agree after this, like, the playing this a fourth time. Yeah, I'm surprised you, uh, did I was it four young. Times. Yeah, I get that. I played it, and then I loved it, and then I played it again, and then I played it again. <laughs> and then you watched Ethan play it again. Yeah. And then we, I mean, we're so high that... Yeah. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Couldn't have even told if it was bad. Uh, we'll get a nice Deadpool and a bigger Hulk Ragnarok statue. Like, how big? Mm. Those Hulk statues are pretty nice when they get really big. At least all the enemies are dead. Yeah. It's just annoying. It's like that other part where, like, if you die during it, then you have to start over. But all the enemies are dead, so it's just annoying that you have to walk through again, and try mm. again, and then die and try again. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a little invested in this right now, but I kind of hear you. Mm -hmm. 10 or 12 inches, I think that's pretty good for a Hulk statue. You should buy a full size one. You know, like seven feet tall. Has he seen your uh, Artem oh, or what's his Artemis? Name? I was going to say Artemis, but I meant whatever it is. Artorius of the Abyss. Artorius of the Abyss! Yeah, she got me a. Um, what was that for? Was that for Valentine's Day? Well, it was for Christmas, but it didn't get here until. Like, oh yeah, February. it's a uh, it's like an eight inch tall, I think, uh, Artorius of the Abyss figurine from Dark Souls oh. One. That first four figure one. What do you mean? That first four figure one. That first four figure one. That first four figure one. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Oh, and did you see that um, Dark Souls 1 is getting remastered and it's coming onto Switch? Mm. And they're releasing a Solaire of Astora amiibo with him doing the Praise the Sun emote. And I love it. And I want it. I want like a big ass statue of that. Oh, where did you buy the Artorias thing? Me? Yeah. Amazon. Amazon. Uh, I don't know the distributor. Yeah. I don't know the distributor or anything, but um, it's really cool and I like it a lot. Oh, you like it. <laughs> oh. Beautiful. Yeah, that's like six inches tall. Ish. It's really nice looking. Sounds like a lot of. <laughs> Yeah, I like that a lot. I am glad. I almost sat on my kitty. And I for sitting right where I was just sitting when I get up for 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this high action gameplay? <laughs> yeah, okay, let's see this. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> cool, now I can continue, and I'm probably right at the end as well. I'm pretty sure. That's the one I was, I was gonna buy and they ran out. When... I probably bought the last one. <laughs> yeah, <that's what> <laughs> it, was, it was like around Christmas time, I think, like early December that you bought it, I think, right? I bought it pretty early, actually, like, like way before that. And it said it wasn't going to get here until April, but it came really early. Mm -hmm. Would have made a good Easter gift, too. <laughs> I, I was just thinking it could be a random, a random gift. Yeah. Like Instead, any, it had to be for a holiday. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I remember how to get through this area. I'm pretty sure we... <laughs> what? We suck. We suck? We suck. Why? Because we're not getting... We're not winning. We're not winning. Oh, God! <laughs> hot, 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 hot! If I run forward without killing this shit, will he follow me still? Do you remember that at all? I'm in trouble over here. If I go to the next screen, you'll follow, yes? <laughs> no. Wait for me. Yeah. He follow? He followed. Cool. Glad that was worth it. Now we can do the dungeon that they wanted us to do an hour ago. <laughs> At least it's a dungeon now, though, and you don't have to do all this bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Right? What if he was like, 
uh, Master, I spilled too much water on the way. We have to <laughs> we go have back. We have to go back. <laughs> <laughs> I would hate it. Or what if, what if he dropped it right now and it spilled everywhere? And he's like, oh, shit. Just <laughs> <laughs> throws it. This is very inefficient, man. Whatever, as long as it gets something. I guess. And if that was the case, why couldn't you just throw a little water bottle at it? And, like, I know, just drops like, hit it. <laughs> chuck the glass bottle. What if it, he dropped in, it spilled on the Goron, and it was super effective because he's a rock type, and he died. <sighs> Had to go to a Goron funeral. Or a Goron hospital. Or both. Had to follow him for six months while he holds on for dear life, but he dies of oh water poisoning. Gosh. And then you finally get to continue the game. <laughs> <laughs> That's the side quest for this area. <laughs> they don't, uh, He's just like, you're literally just sitting next to him in a hospital for like... <laughs> You have to, Three hours. You have to like defend uh, against moblins that walk in, and you get to sit down every now and then to <laughs> heal your hearts. And you hear the Goron heart monitor going boom, 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 because he's. A and you have to feed him Goron. rocks every once in a while because he's dying. Dying. Got to feed him ice chips because he's giving birth. We suck. We lost. Did we? Yes. That's a damn shame. I remember this dungeon vaguely. I like this one. Why are there oh, there's sanctuaries, not dungeons. Silly me. I think... Okay, so I like this one, but, like, all the other ones were so different from the first one, and this one's not that different. Like, the only thing that they really mm. added was those those guys that have water spouts in it, and then you can... So this is? Yeah, they have, like, a water spout, and then it drops, and then there's a uh, magma thing that you can walk across, you know? Sounds like this is just a less good version of... I don't think that's... Oh. That's, oh. that's just a less good version of fucking Wind Waker's way of doing it. Wind Waker, you yeah. throw a pot under the water and it works. Like this? Dude, I don't know. Um, I think you waited too long. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> My fault, though. I tried looking around, because, like, what are these here for? Anything? Even? Just to show you, I guess? I think you can, like, like once you open it, you can... I don't really know. I feel like I remember there being a way for you to like carry water from one place to another. Oh, maybe. maybe like maybe it only uh, comes water if it's like over lava or something. Um, or it's like I don't know. Maybe if you shoot it first, then it becomes. I I don't know. I have no idea. I don't remember. Any theories of that? No, I gotta stay we on that. Will figure it out. Yeah. I now announce this cafeteria, a bitch-free zone. A bitch-free zone? I need to stand still with these, these arrows. They're shooting where I am, not where I'm going to be. <laughs> just like in space. Did you just <laughs> toss that in the air and then stab me in the air? <laughs> I meant to like slap it down like that, but it just slipped out of oh, my fingers shit. and then landed. <laughs> I just felt something poke in my arm. <laughs> like a needle. Pretty sure we lost. We lost. If we had gotten the number 69, we would win in like three ways. Really? That ironic, right? It's our favorite number and we didn't get it once. God damn it. Ew. Where is this guy? Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. The exit to class. I've been in here for 57 years. He looks absolutely normal to me. Don't scare me like that. I thought you were one of those monster creeps. Oh, hey, what's this? You got yourself a swanky pair of digging mitts, don't you? Who are you anyway? Digging mitts, don't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, well, if you want to relook that, you can. I feel like I'm going to miss some stuff. Name's Gold. James. I would like to <laughs> sit in my seat so I would care. Oh, so he's so flopsy. Excuse me. Yeah. No offense, pal. You don't look like the kind of guy I'd send in here on a treasure hunt mission. What do I know? You might just surprise me. Yes. Oh, your wallet's still in the pocket. So here's the deal. Word in the tunnels is there's a huge treasure hidden in these here ruins. Dot dot dot. But nobody knows. Wait, but nobody who's ever seen it has come back to tell the tale. It's secretly a demon. Countless treasure hunters have appeared in here. Poof, gone. 
As a treasure digger, I gotta warn you to just turn around and enjoy the many peaceful years of digging left to you. but you're gonna do this no matter what I say, aren't you? Pretty much. Pretty much. Alright then, I'm gonna let you in on an ancient. Fucking cat. He wants our batteries. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no. Not our food, you'll die. <laughs> Every magma worth a wait worth a handful of dirt knows this one. Here we go. Ye who seek the entrance to the king's treasure, look for the two statues that face one another. That doesn't rhyme. Show your bravery and jump into the mouth of the sleeping statue. Do this, and the path will open before you. That almost rhymes. And you remember all that, and you're golden. Pony boy. Says <laughs> you get lost. Holler at me. <laughs> Hey you! <laughs> I should drink my coffee. No. I'm getting sleepy, maybe. I mean, I just yawned like three times, so I think I should drink some coffee. So sugary at the bottom. That's what you get for ordering sugar in your coffee. This one's so big. I don't see what it is. This, this is a key. This temple? Yeah. Do you see how big this is? It's not that big, really. It's big. It's like the same length as the other ones. Okay. If you want, I'll do it for you. I trust you. Yeah, I'll, I'll do a little bit. <laughs> Didn't we see like a really, really, really big Dark Souls um, figurine? At GameStop? No, when we were looking online, there was one that was like eight feet tall or something. Eight feet? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little too big, but it might have been like. 80 inches. I remember the number 8. Mm. 18 inches? 82 inches? How tall is that? It's like... Almost 8 feet. Mm. Yeah, because then they're 12 feet and a foot. Or 12 inches, inches and a foot. Yes. <laughs> 12 feet and a foot. A pound of metal weighs nearly a ton? Is it 12? <laughs> it's 12, right? Inches? Yeah. Yes. So that would be... Times 5 is 60. Times 7 is 72, so it would be like 7 and a half feet. Times... 6? Times 8? Times... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait oh, a second. I remember this. This guy's cool. We know it'd be six and a half. Dude, weird. Math. It's so bad at math. <laughs> no, we've been bad at math since we graduated, graduated. high school. Yeah. <laughs> we like, we were trying to figure out if it was more worth it to buy a burger plus fries instead of a meal, and we were trying to add five sixty nine plus two forty nine, and it took us like five whole minutes. To sit it was five forty nine. Yes. Plus and two forty nine. Yeah, and we were like, how do we do this? How do we do this? And then the other day when we were trying to figure out if an octopus is a mammal. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good time. I love being dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I to go? Into like a mini game. Mm. Hey, I guess this is the mini boss for the dungeon. This guy? Maybe. Hmm. Is there any other game where you get like that bond? Pretty sure it's not a princess. 
I remember like the, the mini boss to try to die in the thin hallway like this. Yes! Yes. The uh, chain on the guy. Yeah, and then like the walls are like, uh, yeah. remember it. Yeah. I remember there's like a fence on either side and it's a thin hallway. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of like see treasure. Like, yeah, treasure. like how in that game the mini bosses are usually using the item against you. Yeah, and then, and then you, you can it. like see what you're gonna get. Right? Yeah. So it's, it's like they do that with the boomerang because the monkey uses it. And then the guy uses the ball chain. And I just like, like I. I remember being so psyched for this game because, I don't know, IGN gave it like a 10 out of 10. They gave everything a 10 out of 10, they're whores. Well, yeah, it <laughs> seems like it now, but at the time it was a big deal. Yeah. Like, it was, I don't know. But I just remember it's... it being a big deal. I don't know if it actually was, but I remember it being like, what? No other Zelda game has gotten a 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, but then like, I don't know, it's like if they give this a 10 out of 10 and then they give Breath of the Wild a 10 out of 10, that's two very different yeah. games. It's, I don't know. IGN just is way too lenient with what they give 10 out of 10s to. Yeah, like a 10 out of 10 should be a tr like a really perfect a true game. true masterpiece. For me at least, like, I can't think of anything that's a true 10 out of 10. Yeah, um... Oh, oh god. Um... Like, if there's know. any flaw with it at all, then it's not a 10 out of 10. Yeah. And there are a lot of flaws with this game. A lot of flaws in a lot of games, too. Like, mm. even Breath of the Wild, I would give it, like, a high 9. Mm. Or, like, a high... I mean... A low 9. I don't know. Yeah, like, like, because cause I still thought that the... the sh I don't know. The Divine yeah. Beasts weren't... They were a little lackluster. Yeah, like... I... Oh, God, I'm cursed. Hey, Kanano! Hi, Kanano! Mm. How you doing? <laughs> How do I get uncursed? <laughs> Okay. Oh, you know what I do? You know what I do? You know what I do right here? I do this. Mm. Zoom up here. I uh, clip a, a thing with my thing and I grab a bomb. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah. Where are we going, though? Where am I going? Is it this? Oh. Ooh. Yes. And then I never get my beetle bag. <laughs> it exploded in there. <laughs> exploded, burning lava. Goodbye forever. Goodbye forever. Cool, cool, cool. Now I can do this. the speed thing, then I would not even have to worry about this. Right? Am I right? Yeah. No. Aww. That was my bad. My bad, everybody. Got 15 bucks for it, though. Totally worth the degree burning in my butthole. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I think the problem was that we were calibrating it looking to the right because that's where I was pointing it. I think you were right that we needed it in front of us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wait, the pointer? Yeah. It's not in front of you anymore, though. Yeah, but it it thinks that this is where the TV is as opposed to thinking mm. the TV's over there. So when I point down, it like measures it differently because it just rotated 90 degrees. Right. Uh, but it's working a lot better now, it seems. And it probably will work better when you start switching. Do you want to play after this one? Uh, no. Cool. I gotta pee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. Water. Little stick. My water. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell that the Wii remote is dangling? Hmm. <laughs> oh my God. What are you doing? Did that just stumble onto a James Bond trap? That stuff looks hot. I wouldn't mind a little hot bath with, with my short shoulders, but this is too much. What have we got here? Another new guard? Huh. Can't break me with interrogation, son. You'll never make me talk. I'm not some sideshow for you to gawk at. Get lost. Shoo now. Wow, I'm fucking... I will, I will straight up murder you. Oh, never mind. Ow. 
Ow! I just wanted to see what it did. Wow, tough puzzle to solve right there. I know we just asked, but I wanted to see what they offer if I would navigate Streamlabs to the best. Um, so you go to Streamlabs, and then you connect your Twitch account to it, and then you, under widgets, go to alert box, and then you can um, adjust like what it says and how it pops up on your stream when uh, someone follows you or subscribes to you. And then you copy the widget URL on that page into browser source on OBS. And then it'll like just load it onto your stream. Like follower goal is just a widget, which is under, um, I think stream labels. Um, no, what is it? Oh yeah, under goals, you can click like follower goal and then you can set up a bar, you know? There's a bunch of uh, YouTube videos about it too. That's how I kind of learned how to do it. Um, but it's a really useful tool for streaming. Like right now, if someone were to follow me, my little bar would go up and I'd be close to my goal. To my goal. And when Kanano donated, it, gave, it like popped up saying, Kanano donated $3.50, you know? And I don't know, just nice. So I don't even know how I would have seen that if I didn't have notifications to go on that. What do I do here? Can I hook shot to that? Am I trapped here forever? <laughs> oh, oh. I, okay, I get it. That's some that's a cool way how to teach you how to use your dust blower for this, uh, this area. Kitty, get down from there. Cause like I wouldn't have thought to use that, but they put little piles of dust there so that I do know to use that. It's nice. Gotten, let's see, 10 times before. <laughs> Even more than that, maybe.
I hate it when they put big chests there with like really common um, things together. Like, oh, I already have six, but no, let's let's give you one more. Another cool way to teach you that you can do that. Dungeon's got some cool ways of teaching you stuff. Because mm. uh, when you were gone, there was like a little pile of fire that you can hookshot over with little dust piles behind it. So it teaches you that you can use your gust blower to clean up the uh, the, the fire things. Mm. And right here, the only way to attack that is to stab it, and then it gets stuck to your sword. Right, and then you, and you turn immediately around yeah. and you can just kind of jab. I like that. I forgot about that. Yeah, right? <laughs> I remember most of this. Oh. I meant to do that. I just, for some reason, this dungeon was pretty forgettable for me. Same, like, I don't even remember the boss, do you? Isn't it gear him again? Probably. I just remember at one point, I feel like there's a... There's a Unless I'm confusing it with another one, of the but there's like a big boat in the shape of a dragon that's like reminds me of the one from Willy Wonka. <laughs> we will see. Oh, we will see. We will see. I think I might be confusing it with another game. Oh no. Do I have to fight one of these hands now? There's two of them! They're gonna arm wrestle it out. Extra super powered mitts. Mm. He's got a super powered mind. Mechanical canine. Really socked it to those lava fingers. And if you don't mind doing one more thing while you're at it. Do you not feel good? No. Why? I don't know. I feel like I've had like too much coffee and weed and alcohol. And... Just in combination, it's making me feel very dehydrated. Mm. You want to keep streaming? At least until you finish the dungeon and I drink more water. Okay. I'll try to be quick about it. Oh, yeah, now that... Oh, wait, did I come in from up there? I think I might have. You know... What? What I probably require is just... just the... <laughs> it's the cure-all. Why? I just think it makes me feel better when I'm dehydrated. Usually. Yeah. And even if not, it makes you realize how much more water you need to drink, and then you drink it. I'm saved. I don't know who you are, or where you're from, but I owe you big time. Are you here looking for the treasure too? Sure. You were totally caught up in that too, pal. Yeah. Why would they put the lever to unleash, like, yeah, like to release this guy under the lava? See it in your face, you're here because of the legend of the sleeping statue, yes? Those are some busted old digging nuts. Can't go using them for treasure hunting. I got it. As thanks, I'm gonna give you a replacement pair for my secret stash. Don't you go nowhere. 
You just leaves me here for three months. <laughs> the where did they come from? It's like I'm back. I found my treasure. Here you go. <laughs> the kind of things you can easily get your hands on just anywhere, so take good care of them. And then you never see them in the Zelda series. Even the manga don't see you. <laughs> digging bits this fancy very often. They don't just dig holes, they also let you bury right under the ground. Try to find holes you can dig in. <laughs> okay! <laughs> This one. Hey, dying. Comes with a hole that shows up afterwards. The, the big one. I can't even punch these things too. And you can like punch bombs. Too. I understand. Oh yeah. Oh, this is. How do I, how does Link know <laughs> <Is> where <laughs> he is though? Isn't the boss for this area like one like a. A oh, giant no. snake or something yeah. that like spirals around. You're totally oh, right. I love this! I forgot completely about this. <laughs> but I really like this this part of this game though. <laughs> there are like there are a lot of reasons why I see this game would be so like well received upon its first like I don't know, release. Yeah. Cause there's just like a lot of really cool new things that it brings to the table, but and it was the first Wii Zelda game that people had been looking forward to for a really mm. long time, so the hype was real. And you like know? just being able to use the remotes in the way that you do was cool because it was new, but it's still like it didn't age well at all. Yeah. And like like Twilight Princess aged well. I mean, if you count the re-release, it aged great. Wind Waker aged great. This, even if they remade it and fixed the controls and things like that, it's still not a good game. Mm -hmm. You know? They would have to change a lot about it. Like, they would have to change Fee completely. Completely! She's even. just a know it all biatch. Biatch. <laughs> I didn't think that makes her feel. I hope it makes her feel real bad. What makes her think about the way that she talks to me? All the <laughs> things that she says. <laughs> the, the way she talks to you, as in. Boringly all the time. Boringly and all the time, yes. Hope it makes you reconsider all of those decisions. I hope. She dies. It's a little harsh, man. It's <laughs> not where I started that sentence, but it's where it ended up. Oh, this okay. Can I dig you? No? Okay. Okay. Do I have a key? No. Okay. I hope that Xerxes never gets any bigger. Why? Do you just want him to say it in the door of Kitty Cat forever? Yeah, and he just like... He fits perfectly in so many places that he enjoys. Like, he likes just cuddling up into a small, small space. Mm. And I mean, depending on like, how big he gets, a small space is relative, you know? So like... But like, you see a picture of like a puppy sitting on like a drawer in like a drawer mm -hmm. and then you see another picture of him like, trying to sit in the same drawer you know the um the shoe rack that's in my mudroom in, in the house my parents house mm -hmm. lyra used to I be able here. to fit into that little corner Aww. near where like like where the stairs are and where the wall is behind the shoe rack and now she just can't go there anymore but i have so many pictures of her just like sitting back there sleeping lyra <laughs> was puppy. an adorable puppy <laughs> Oh, you fucky sucky ducky. How do I... I don't need that. Well, yeah, okay. I feel like maybe it's just because it's like a, a time marker for me to go to, but I feel like life started going by so much faster once I got Lyra. It's because it was like another life to observe. Mm. Oh my god. It's a lot of hearts. Yeah. And it was it was like your first She was your first dog, right? Yeah, so it's just like your first uh big like aging experience, you know, like taking care of another life. Like I had I had cats before that though. Yeah, they don't really need a lot besides food and clean litter. Lyra was so needy and I had to do all of it. <laughs> <laughs> now history repeats itself. I love taking care of things, though. It's one of my favorite things to do. You think it's because your mom is a nurse? I don't know. And you learned it. I learned it from watching you. <laughs> <laughs> 
And like before she became a nurse, she was just like a... I don't know what you would call this kind of person, but someone who like goes to someone's house and takes care of them. Like a caretaker? Yeah, like she had like a few Doesn't people that she would... A caregiver? Or wait, which one's the weed version? The caregiver is the weed version, I think. Okay. Caregiver? Caretaker? Fuck, I don't know. Like there was this one guy, his name was Ben. He was... Another fucking one? Jesus. Paralyzed. Mm. She would go to his house at night and like take care of him, you know. And then that moved into like being a nurse, like more. There's gotta be a name for that, though. I would assume just caretaker or mm. like a like a stay-at-home nurse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If only Hector were here, were here. he could educate <laughs> Where are you, us. Hector? Yeah, he could edu educate us on so many things. Not you asking me to Set me free and I'll tell you the big gigantic secret about this room. It's a secret that, about treasure. Yes. Mm. I bet but you must set him free first. I get. Yeah. It's like in the office when Job is. Uh, the uh, office, Job. Yeah. When remember when he's auditioning or when he's interviewing to be the new manager. From the rest of a uh, fucking. Oh, what's his name? David. Da uh, David something. And he's interviewing to be the new manager after Michael leaves. And he's like... And he's like, I have a three-step plan to turn this company around. Just hire me and I'll tell you. And they're like, well, what's the plan? Like, I don't what? remember that at all. No? No. Maybe you were like... I probably didn't see that episode. Wait, Joe? What? Wait, like Will Arnett? Will Arnett, that's his name. He's... Yeah, he shows up for like a... Uh... I never knew that. Yeah. Dude, I'll show you after. It's great. How have I skipped that episode every time I've seen The Office? <laughs> what, the, what am I doing here? I'm... I'm confused. I can't break those boxes, right? Are you talking about The Office? Yeah, do you remember when Will Arnett is... Is in the office to um, to interview to be the new manager. Yeah. After Michael Scott. Leaves. Yeah, and then he's he's like, I've got a three-step plan to turn this company around. I don't remember him being in it ever. I just know that like, uh, Will Ferrell is in it. Pharrell Williams. Who's that? He's a singer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> he's the exact opposite of Will Ferrell. I don't get this. Can I move this? It's so weird that they like have so many different famous actors come in just to. It's because the show was starting to fail and they needed something to draw attention, right? Mm -hmm. They got in Will Arnett and Jim Carrey, uh, Will Ferrell. Jim Carrey? Yeah, Jim Carrey was in it for a little bit. For literally, like, I think he was only in it for like an end credit scene. I probably just blocked that whole season out. <laughs> <laughs> you were too upset over but the loss. Steve Carell had to leave, yeah. yeah. I remember for sure they had a few random slips. Yeah. And like, I can't really think of any more that come in. What season was that? That was like, must have been eight. Or like the end of seven. I, it was when they were interviewing for, yeah, like, uh, Robert California interviewed in the same episode as <laughs> Lornette. Do you remember his interview? Who's? Robert California. Not really. No. Like. He I don't know. he was just a really smooth talker and talked them into thinking oh. that he knew what he was doing. And he was like, "When I'm talking to a man, it doesn't matter if he wants a hundred dollars worth of paper or one hundred million dollars worth of <laughs> deep sea drilling equipment. Mm. He wants to feel respected." And I'm like, "Man, I would hire you." Yeah, he's a really good talker. <laughs> yeah. I remember when he was talking to just, like, I think his Whoops. center, in his second interview with, um, without Michael Scott, when it was just, like, Jim and Dwight. I can't remember. What? I can't remember. We just finished it. <laughs> I don't know why Steve Carell had to leave the show, but... I think his contract ran out. I feel like there wouldn't be it, though, wouldn't he? I feel like he would commit to the whole thing if if if, if it wasn't for some like, reason, like a movie that he needed to do because that happens. You know what? 
I'm here, I have a phone, and I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, why did Steve Carell leave the office? In the show, it was because he moved to Colorado with Holly. Spoiler alert, but if you haven't seen The Office right now, then fucking watch it. <laughs> it is great, and knowing that that fact won't change anything. You really think I would divulge super secret info about treasure? My mama didn't raise no potsy. Pot potsy. I spent too long finding that info. These gloves are from my brother's secret collection. Are you friends with him? That's right. Wait, wait, wait. There's something I want to give you. A blowjob. I'll just go get it with you. <laughs> Why did Steve Clark leave the office? Uh, some super secret info that I put together. Took some real sweat and work, too. I had to survey this place near a hundred times to figure it out. You ready for this? Now don't go fainting when I tell you. Right around here is, there is a hidden room! So when I return, please don't tell anyone that I was captured. It'll be our little secret. It's a secret to everyone. Alright then, go I ahead and... I can trust and half post. Of course. Dang. She feels weird. Later then. I said bye now. Is it because oh. you're with me? Uh-huh. Mm. You poor, poor thing. I know, Roy. We meet again. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, but I kind of happened to overhear that conversation. Seems one of my guys was giving you a hard time. I'm sorry about that. That stuff you were saying was all true. There's a breeze coming in from somewhere in the storm. I tell you, I can smell it. <laughs> I <laughs> figure the information in that in that chest will be useful. Wait. Oh, it's the map. I get it. Did you know that Angela Martin's real name is Angela Kinsley? Oh my god. That's crazy. And Oscar Martinez, his real name is Oscar Nunez. Oh, it's not Martinez? It's Nunez. <laughs> Do you remember that show, Ah, Real Monsters, or was that before your time? It was before uh, both of our I times, but I remember it, and I showed you, like, less than a week ago. Did you? Yeah, I was showing you, like, the candy cane creature. And uh, the other weird one, you remember that? <laughs> Not at all. No. <laughs> no. What? You're a, you, it was like a black and white candy cane with like big lips, and it wore a hat, I think, or it had like an umbrella. I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> and you I say, thought you had a bad. Memory. I know. I was about to say. <laughs> you should look it up again, because as soon as I see it, I'll remember it. Yeah, Oblina. He knows. It was before. How did that come up? I I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, look, look at that. Oh, wait. yeah, you remember that? I do. And those guys, because we were talking about someone that looked like the guy yeah. that holds his eyeballs, and so it's probably from Adventure Time or something. It, it must have been. I think you're right. Because it's like candy people. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. It's weird that you'd bring it up because like I've never. Yeah. What? I heard you talk about that ever, except for very recently. Yeah, why did you bring it up, Jenny? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found a pop figure of her. I remember Tanya liking her a bit, so I, I bought it for you. For me? I remember Tanya liking it, so I bought it for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, thank you. I, it was before my time, but I bet if I watched it now, I would enjoy it, because like, we watched SpongeBob and Fairly Odd Parents. And Crumb is a guy that who, who holds his eyes, and Ickis is the right football head guy. Oh, bought it for Tanya. Okay. Didn't want it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Are you going to give it to her tomorrow? Yeah, is that for like... Just like a, like a baby shower? Thing? Yeah, or just like a... Hey, remember this? Here you go. I do remember that. This was a cool dungeon. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't remember it very well. I still don't, but I definitely, I, like, I remember it. Like, it's coming it, back to me as I see it. I just, I forgot all about this. Mm. Like, exactly how this worked. It's puzzling cool. me. You gotta get your head in the game. Get, 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 get your head in the game. Gotta get my, get my, get my, get my head in the game. I need to get my head in the game. I've been looking up why Steve Carell left the office for like the past half hour. <laughs> or at least time is a time is a time, time is, is relative. 
doesn't exist. Humans just invented clocks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a way to just a way to proceed. Yeah, dude. I hope I'm doing the right thing. In life. I wouldn't know I'm not paying any attention. No. Oh, it helps. <laughs> There's a secret yeah, room in here? Yeah. Can I zoom in? Oh. Well, fucking... Is there a wall here? Looks like there should be a wall here. I have one bomb left, so I'm just gonna try right here. This guy's cool though. I, I think maybe it's just another version of this guy, but in a different form. Maybe. Oh god. Mm. Ow. What? Oh, you cheap asshole. They told me that. Mm. Like, it makes sense, but. Can... <laughs> it tells you everything you can think about it. Yeah, but if, if it's a crucial <laughs> thing. It's not, though. It's just another thing that you could try. If this was Breath of the Wild, you wouldn't be surprised. But it ain't. True. Like if it's gonna tell you everything, then it should tell you everything. Yeah, I can't. It needs <laughs> it's to be used consistent. used to like being told everything, and then you don't actually think for yourself. I know, right? <laughs> it's like in fucking school, you know. Mm. I guess. I did. Very true. I just. <laughs> the the scar in the office. <laughs> You jump to the left and you shake that <laughs> hand. You jump to the right and you shake that hand. That's how you do the sky. Yeah, I forget the rest. <laughs> no! You bitch. Okay, well, this one says in an interview with Blah Blah, Corel explains that he left the NBC sitcom before it got quote unquote too comfortable. Mm. I feel like it was the right thing to do and the right time for me to go, he commented. The actor continued, it's very much akin to when I left The Daily Show. I had a great job and good friends, solid income. I just feel like I'm gonna leave. I better leave now before I get too comfortable. Mm. Dot, 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 dot. That's but, a weird reason to do that. Yeah, and then another thing says, Corel's seven-year contract is up at the end of the seventh season. Hmm. And then... Another thing said he left to focus on films. So I don't know what to trust. <laughs> he left and he left and that's it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's both. Maybe he left. Maybe he, he left took for a... all of it. Yeah, like he, he took a film He could have like re-signed another contract, but he, for one, wanted to focus on, I don't know how it works, films. And he also thought it's just the time to leave anyway. Like if there's yeah. seven seasons in, I don't want to 
Instagram. Like maybe he took another job because he thought it would get too comfortable. Yeah, and, and then like at the same, all it, it also just happened to be around the time when his first contract would have ended. Because mm. like, I don't see why you couldn't just sign another contract for another however many seasons or whatever. I don't yeah. know. I don't understand how the film biz works. Ne me neither. Fuck it. <sighs> you used to be an actor, you should know, right? For musical theater. Theater. <laughs> I didn't have to sign any contracts. Acting. Acting. From the community. I'm struggling. <laughs> Was that from? Was it? It's from the office. Was it? Yeah. When Michael and Holly were joking around. Oh yeah. And then they were just like acting, and then that's when he realized he was in love. Where the fuck do I go? Tell me where to go every every time I need it, please. <laughs> no, don't tell him. My Make brain. him work for it. My brain, man. Goodbye. I feel slow. You're quick. <laughs> I'm quick. I'm just saying there's like a secret exit, and then what did I just get from this chest, even? Yeah, look at the map. Map is the way to go. What's this? Huh? Maybe that's like another. I don't know. Some... Favorite Zelda game? Go! Mmm. Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah. And Wind Waker. I said the other day that it's like a three way tie between Breath of the Wild, Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess. Yeah. I would probably say, like, Twilight Princess was my favorite up until the HD remake of Wind Waker. Mm. And then the HD remake of Twilight Princess came out. And I didn't finish it. And then I played Breath of the Wild, and then Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Topped them all! Mm -hmm. It was so cool. But who knows, because that's, like, the newest game, too. And, like, this was the newest game when it came out, and I really loved this. Yeah, so you might have an entire different opinion when, if you replay it in, like, five years when the new game comes out. Yeah. Like, what even will the next Zelda game be like? We don't fucking know. I hope that it's a lot like Breath of the Wild, but with... Dungeons? Yeah, dungeons. Like, like, actually, like, the point of Breath of the Wild was to, like, bring back the feeling of Zelda 1, where you can just I go just, wherever and do whatever. Like, even if there was only going to be four divine beasts, there shouldn't have been just three shrines. Mm -hmm. Like, it, I don't know. If, if you're going to have 120 shrines besides that, it just gets a little repetitive yeah. or something. And then a lot of the enemies I thought kind of got repetitive after a while, like all of the... Really the only things that you found in a um, Divine Beast were guardians and... Yeah, the enemies were pretty weak mm -hmm. all around. Yeah, whatever version of Ganon. I don't know. They were still good, They were cool, but... Dungeons like... would have been nicer. Yeah. Like real ass, whoops, real ass dungeons. Like, yeah, like if they were to make it even more like Zelda One, then they could add real dungeons, like nine of them or so. You know, like as many as your regular, your average big Zelda game. Because there were nine Zelda, there were nine dungeons in Zelda One. There were like nine in Twilight Princess, I think. There are nine in Ocarina of Time. Uh, it just feels like. Mm. They could have done that, and they probably could the next. They still time. had like a. I think it was a, a good start to where they're going because it had mm. like so much new stuff and. Yeah. So much new stuff. Is that how you would say that? So many new things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so many new things. So many stuffs to, to things to come out. <laughs> yeah, like this was a good reinvention for what the next mm. game could be, and I'm really looking forward to it in ten years. Ten years. Whenever it comes out, yeah. Breath of the Wild took so long. I remember like talking to people about it four or five years ago. Well, it's, yeah, they started working on it shortly after they released this game, I think. Yeah, but I remember like it was supposed to come out years ago. Mm -hmm. Like in 2015 or something, I think was the first release date. Was it really? I think so. Oh my god. And then <laughs> and then it was like three years <laughs> later. <laughs> oh my god. Worth the wait though. Uh huh. Shigeru Miyamoto. Fuck. <laughs> Shigeru Miyamoto once said, 
a rushed game, uh, a delayed game will eventually be good, but a rushed game will be forever bad. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense. Like, if he, if they just pushed out Breath of the Wild because that's when the release date was, then it wouldn't have been as good as it is. Mm -hmm. Then this probably was rushed. I can tell. Well, I can, I would believe it if I... I mean, they probably... Ah. And even DLC, though, is like... It's a yeah. So and that was probably stuff. Some of it might have been stuff that they had wanted to put into the first. Game. Yeah. Probably. Like, yeah, and like they use DLC in a really good way. You know, not many games do that. Like a lot of games have day one DLC, and it's like, just give me it. Mm. Don't fucking charge me more money for content that is already available after the game. It's more money. Like, even with Breath of the Wild, the original game was so good, and then the mm -hmm. DLC was so much that and it was, like, totally worth to... paying. Yeah. Like, same with Hyrule Warriors, you know? They give you tons of time to play mm. the game before releasing DLC. Then they give you tons more time. It was great. Is that supposed to be, like, Demise? Because it kind of looks like Ganon, but, like, more Demise. -y. Yeah, it's like a pink something yeah. weird ears. It makes sense that it would be in, like, the Fire Temple. What's Jay's favorite Zelda game? Yeah, what's your favorite Zelda game? I'm gonna say Majora's Mask, as a guess. Because Majora's Mask is amazing. I have played almost all of Majora's Mask. Almost. Almost. We'll get there. I know. I, I got all of the masks up until and everything up until um, the stone temple. Mm. Oh, yeah. And then, like, I did most of the, that one, and then I got to the final boss, and then just didn't defeat it, and then didn't pick it up again until whenever we play it this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should do that. No, we should do that timeline last, because that has all the best games in it. It's got... Twilight Princess. Ma yeah, it goes to Majora's Mask, then Twilight Princess, then Four Swords Adventure, and then Breath of the Wild, which are four of my favorite games. I know, we should do that one last, because... Be but I... Uh, the reason we even started doing this was because we started listening to the Twilight Princess soundtrack. Yeah. It's gonna take us forever to get there. It'll be nice, though. It'll be nice to... Okay, think of it this way, right? You're gonna be playing, since it ends with Breath of the Wild, you'll get to play every other game and then mm. end with Breath of the Wild. Which again. is, yeah, the one that I am still playing now. Or we could even do that timeline first and then just do Breath of the Wild last regardless because of how far in the future it is. Mm. You know? Because either way, it'll still be like... It'll still work. We could. We could. Uh, I think it would work. We'll see. We'll see how we feel when we get there. She says, yeah, you're probably right with uh, Majora's Mask. I did good up until the end when you do the Goron race for time or something. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, In Majora's Mask? Yeah. Did you ever do the Goron race? I think so. Wait, uh, you enter, like, after you do Snowhead Temple, you, um, how do I get this guy? After, uh, after you do Stone, Stone, uh, You can, like, stone, do this stone. first and then, do this and then explain to me what you're trying to say. Um, uh, Snowhead Temple, after you do that, you clean up, like, it's not winter anymore on the mountain, mm -hmm. right? And so then you can enter a Goron race where you oh, use yeah. the, the Goron Master yeah, race. I remember yeah, that. And it's really, really mm. hard. Because they use like rubber band physics where the farther ahead yeah. you are, the faster they go. And it just feels unfair. <laughs> nice. I think I remember that though. Um, yeah, it's really hard. And it kills a lot of like 100% speedruns because they just get stuck on it. Mm. Uh, the book? God, they're all brothers here. Is that their dad that I met at the beginning, then? The old one? What? Sorry, what? These are all... All these moles that I've been meeting are brothers to each other. So I feel like I met their dad at the beginning when he was the old one. Remember that? Oh, yeah! Yeah. Did he say how he was related to the other guys? I don't know. I don't know if he said he had kids in here or anything. Mm. I can't remember either. I feel like he said something about it. It's all right here. You see it? <laughs> yeah. <right> here. <laughs> On Jesus is a moose. They might remember. Is this the boss key? No. 
What? Is that not mandatory then? Or was it mandatory? It's weird that they would make a mandatory heart piece. Yeah, it must have been, because it opens up this door. Sand? The moon sand. <laughs> mm. Don't caddy it. He's so asleep. Uh, what would he remember? What did we ask that for? Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> we don't even remember. It's on stream though. Still. With the with the guy, how he said he was related to the other people in yeah. here in the beginning. All the moles that I've met are brothers, and I we were wondering if the old mole that we meet at the beginning said anything about what he was in relation. Yep. We got moon sand, everybody. Oh, it's so fun. I like the phloem more though. Really. I think so. Like, I like the way the phloem sounds, but I like the way this feels. Mm. So cool. Oh god. What have I done? What did you do? I, th I hit a bomb because I thought I should do it. Oh, but you're gonna get bombarded by lava. I'm gonna get lava. I lava good chase sequence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that's why there's stamina bar. Mm, you have to run. Oh, oh god, I'm fucked. No, oh. you're not. You're fine. You're fine. Oh. Oh, it just got your toes. You're fine. You oh, can god. survive without them. It got my toes. <laughs> oh my god, that was a one-hit kill. He just passes the fuck out. I mean, that's what happens. So much pain, dude. You know what I just realized? What? Um. When you die, it shows the game over screen, and it says game over, like reflected in water, and then you fight Demise, like on a lake. And that's important at all. Oh, maybe. Like, water is. It's an just important like. Theme. It's like demise is hell. Maybe. Oh, no, it's the Holy Realm, or the Sacred Realm, isn't it? Mmm. That would make more sense. Hell. Yes, for water. <laughs> Yeah, it's before the sacred realm even like had a shape. I think it was just a place where, like, a like an endless void where the triforce happened to be, mm. uh, or well, where it was like stored. And then only in later games did it actually take shape because like Ganon went there and fucked it all up. Mm. And like that's the plot of Link to the Past. I think is that he messed up the sacred realm and turned it into like a distorted, disgusting version of the real world. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, I love it. Four Swords Adventure. Uses. I can't wait to understand the timeline, the timeline more. Uh huh. <laughs> and have like background for everything, like because right now we're just at the beginning of the game, so you don't need a lot of context. It just like is what it is. Mm. Prequels are never good. <laughs> <laughs> just like Star Wars. <laughs> Excuse me. Whoa. Did I make those go? Those kind of go right there? Wow, that was a long... That was a long walk for a short Dude, temple walk. What? I forgot how long this temple is. Mm -hmm. You're right, this is a really big temple. Probably well, the biggest so far, even. Yeah. There's so much shit. I see... I needed to... I, I started here, and I had to go across and do all that shit I just did to get that so that I could come here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, move ten feet to the right. And... Oh. It's so big, you can leave it. You're, like, halfway then, through? <laughs> no, I hope not. Nah, you're probably pretty close. Are these the statues that face each other? Bridge of Decision, choose the path you believe in, move forward bravely. I'll do that soon. Bridge of Decision. It's my least favorite thing. <laughs> decisions. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite thing to do. 
Okay. This requires, you know, commitment, and I'm, I can't even commit to committing to something. Uh, Same. Such relationships. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I've committed to this too, playing this shit. Yeah, you, you're you're good at committing to games. Yeah, like I committed the shit out of Kingdom Hearts too. Mm. Yeah, you did. Play that again today. You know? and I didn't. Committed the shit to Shadow of the Colossus, and uh -huh. then you played that again today. Yeah, I got to climb to the top of the sanctuary finally. Commitment is hard. Right. It's just like a Dude. great stem for anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> Like saying you'll do a thing and then having to do that thing. <laughs> Are these the two statues that face each other, you think? That they were talking about with the treasure, so treasure treasure chest would probably appear right here. I don't recall. Okay. Left or right? Left. Yeah. Oh no wait. They're both the same. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Is that just I remember that a little bit. I do not even. Vaguely. What if I went the other way? Did it not do anything? Or would it not do anything? Mm. Ooh, use your thingy. Make, make some motherfucking money! Even make Mark Wahlberg. Make some motherfucking money. Is there anything up where? Is the question. Canada. <laughs> what if I, like, make a money symbol? You get money! Like, will it do that? Does that count? Uh, three hearts, okay. Maybe hearts are the default that it gives you. Yeah, like, it gives you three if it's like, I don't fucking know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> I drew a dick earlier and it gave me three hearts. But, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Game loves dick. What if it just gave you three dicks? Oh, uh, you said you climbed to the top of the sanctuary shadow. Have you ever been up there? I think you just have. Basically, the same as the version, uh, where there's not a lot. Um, they there's like the fruit that when you eat it, it decreases your max health and stamina for one. It's still there, and it's not, I'm pretty sure it's identical to the first one. Um, and then someone noticed the thing and renamed it after race if it was in the original, then it just kind of thing was there, but if it's not, then it's, like, important for secrets. And, uh, apparently, there are four faces of Colossi that are not in the game, like, on the bridge. And so it's, like, a sign that maybe they'll bring back, like, deleted Colossi as secret bosses or something, like as DLC, maybe. Which would be really, really, really cool. But, that's, that's all that's up there that was not, as far as I know, in the original. We should still look at it. Yeah. I think something happened with your game volume. It's completely covering your talking now. It's wicked loud. Yeah. I don't know what that was. I just turned it down a little bit. Um. Did you raise the volume like on for your Elgato? Maybe. But it was like a boss fight, and the music was playing really loud. Mm. And I wasn't paying attention to my voice. Fucking. <laughs> No! I killed one of the butterflies. Oh, look oh at this little spirit! No. <laughs> That's so sad. I don't need anything. Now the game's volume's too quiet. Okay. We're almost. Are we? Maybe. I mean, at least with this. What's after this? Another uh, fighting of the eyes? Yes, and then you do another temple and then you fight him again. <laughs> What's the temple after that, though? Skyloft Temple, I think. Because this will be my third flame, which is yeah. plot important. And then you have to do something with Leviathan. Oh, I forgot about that. There's a boss fight on him. Yeah, dude. We could finish this game. Could be. It's the boss key. Because, mm. I mean, we probably could if we really committed to tonight. Bring light to each statue in accordance with the number of wings each possesses, from least to most. What the fuck? When light resides in each statue, the king's treasure shall be yours. Uh. Okay, that just leads up there. So. One. Zero. One, zero. Two, three, four. 
fucking go, dude. Got this shit memorized. I have perfect recollection. <laughs> <laughs> that bomb explosion would have been super focused on me. You know, like it would have all pressurized in the tunnel and it would have yeah. straight up exploded. Good thing video games aren't real life. Um... It's kind of a bad thing, actually. Yeah, I would... What? Okay, off the top of your head, what video game would you live in? Nice. <laughs> Good call. Yeah. I have to fucking be this bitch. Good thing Mortal that. Kombat, that would be cool. I thought you were going to say Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> More Mortal Kombat is great. Fatalities every day you come back to life. No. Yeah, you know, you just fight to the death and you revive a week later. Right? Not even a week. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, How about you off the top of your head? Uh, uh, uh Breath of the Wild. Mm. I, That'd be cool too. Shit. Oh god. Yeah, I don't know. These other games in general are pretty cool. You know, like The Witcher or mm. Uh, mm, GTA with fucking rocket bikes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Because I really like. I was trying to think of like an old style, like a like an Edo period Japan game, mm. like Samurai Champloo, or what period was that? Yeah, that was like, yeah, Edo, Edo era. Edo. I don't know, but I like that. Uh, that war. Like, what kind of is that? Except like, oh my god, looks key. Oh, I just saw how to solve it. Cool. Did you? <laughs> yeah. As it was spinning. Yeah. That's all you gotta do. Just look at it. Especially Straight when... up Final Fantasy. <laughs> ah, yeah. That one, that's one of the MMO Final Fantasies. So it's like a big ass world. Mm. Dick load of things to do. I think Final Fantasy XIV, that was the one that was so bad that they re released it as a different Final Fantasy XIV, and it did so much better. Really? Yeah. I might be thinking of like eleven, but um, mm. one of them was so bad they remade it. People... Well, that's good. They at least we made it. They were uh -huh. like, oh, this is bad. Yeah. Hold up, people. Everyone was right. <laughs> it was 14. I really want to play 14, too. It's just hard to commit to an MMO. Like, I mm -hmm. stopped playing RuneScape a while ago. Just because, like, I don't know, I stopped caring. I'll probably get back to it. I bet if, like, though. we both got into it together, then it would be easier. Oh, yeah. Easier. It would be so much, uh, so much more fun with, with you to play with. Now we get to see what the boss actually is. Yeah, we've been debating it this whole entire time. Because mm, at first we thought it was a worm. It still might be. Because Zelda games are known for having giant ass worms. <laughs> That's one of the first bosses in Link to the Past, is a giant worm. I kinda. What game was I thinking of with the giant. I feel like it might have. with the giant, like, dragon boat. Maybe you're thinking of Wind Waker. Or even Ocarina of Time. Oh, this is definitely Gear Him. Lackluster fucking. Oh. The game was dying and they actually changed the story so that right before the shutdown of the servers, he would actually be part of the world being destroyed by the enemies in a huge epic cutscene. After they, after that, they just left the community hanging for a year. <laughs> That's still like good marketing, like having people involved in the lore of the game happening mm. and then like making a new game where you could be like, yeah, I fought in that war. Mm. You know, <laughs> like. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Hello there, Asterd. I see you're still among the living. Fancy meeting you here. Is it? I've been stalking my every <laughs> move for 22 hours. We seem to bump into each other time and time again. Oh, it's no coincidence though, is it? You and I were bound by a thread of fate. Oh, just like his, mm. his Hyrule Warriors shit. Yeah. Also, Jay. Did, if you're still listening, did you hear that they're re-releasing Hyrule Warriors, the definitive edition, onto Switch? And I'm really excited for it. It's got everything from both games, plus a lot more. It's gonna be literally the best Warriors game, I hope. 
Look at these old drawings. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, did you do these? They're beautiful. Nice job. I'm gonna put this one on the fridge. <laughs> Until I found these. Hey, it's the Gear of Time thing. Mm. I was upset about that little stunt the goddess's guard dog pulled at the Gate of Time. What was that toy's name again? Impa? Well, never mind that, because these drawings suggest the existence of a second time gate. This news has just filled my heart with rainbows. A second? He's found out. Oh my god. It could just be fucking thematic, symm but. thematic symmetry, you know? Like, it doesn't have to be a second thing. Yeah. Oh, I just... You just dropped that moon sand? I threw it. It's probably all over the floor. Mm. There's a little bit, and then there's the other chunk. There you go. Oh, wow. I've been a busy boy, searching here and there and everywhere for another gate of time. <laughs> and yet, <laughs> I couldn't even find a single clue. He's so dramatic. Since I know, he's like, no. Since I know I can be honest with you, I'll admit I got a little... I, since I know I can be honest with you, <laughs> I'll admit I got a little sulky. It was frowns all around. Oh, you poor thing. Hey, they're red and green. The two time gates. The thought of never getting my hands on that darling young girl again was, well, more than I could bear. You're crazy. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, why are you gonna say young girl? <laughs> then I found this plate. How'd he do that? The prospect of a second gate of time. He just went like right underneath your legs. <laughs> <laughs> Link was in like fighting stance with his <laughs> legs spread apart. Sumo stance. Yeah. Uh, the prospect of a second gate of time has made me positively giggly. Oh. <laughs> That girl, your adorable friend, she will be instrumental in bringing about the revival of my man's manster. My manster, <laughs> my monster master. And though I fear she was now quite beyond my reach, I despair no longer. Mm. Oh yeah, I do see that butt. But before we talk any further <laughs> on that subject, there's still the outstanding matter of your punishment, Astrid. Do you remember when I told you that the next time we met, I'd make your ears? I thought that said ass bleed from oh. the sound of your own Make your screams. Ass bleed. Yeah, as I was I knew it wasn't ass so I didn't say it. Uh, but while I've been thinking, perhaps corporal punishment is a touch too harsh. I might be willing to forgive and forget if you'll strike a deal. All I ask is that you tell me where I can find the other time date. Nick, you think I know? It's you do much. know. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't play coy with me. I know that you know. And I know that you know that I know that you know. <laughs> <laughs> so why not let me in on the fun? Because you're a bad guy, Girahim. Yeah. You think you would be a good guy if your name was Girahim? No. <laughs> Such behavior, a mischievous boy like you, needs to be dealt with firmly. A firmly you need a, a, f <laughs> a firm smack on that ass. <laughs> I must warn you, I won't go easy on you this time. Oh. Disintegrated his clothing. Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Do you remember what his final form looks like? Yeah, he's like black gear in him. <laughs> black gear in him. <laughs> like the way you said black. Lovely, aren't they? You'll find the supple skin of my arms tougher than armor. Than any supple. armor. Supple. Doesn't their shape just leave you breathless? Of the wild. <laughs> oh, it's starting to look kind of cool, actually. And then he like. The pure <gasps> form. Just an exquisite yeah. physique. Such stunning features. You're like a sculpture. <laughs> like Michelangelo's yes, I pretty David. much got it all. <laughs> Though there is one teensy tiny thing I lack. A penis. <laughs> <laughs> I have a mangina. Oh. <laughs> Mainly mercy. <laughs> Come to me, Astrid. You and I were bound by that thread of fate destined to fight. Okay. He's got some nice eyeliner. Uh-huh. Guyliner. <laughs> so come that's a real Guy thing. Guyliner's you know on point. <laughs> yeah. Meet me in battle, and the thread of fate that binds us will be soaked crimson with your blood. The the red string of fate. I have seen in friend a lot in Japan. Um, it's it's a Japanese um uh like folklore thing. Yeah, like the, it's in your name. You remember that? Yeah, just like it's just like a. a a like, thing that binds you throughout time and space. And more time and space. How do I hit this guy? Wait. It's in that, and it was in Holic, and it's in this. Okay, it's not working. Oh god! Oh god! Let me go! <laughs> Oh 
Oh, maybe I should do a... Diagonally when I you know, go forward. Cersei's is like, what the hell are you doing, Mike? <laughs> So yes, new characters. Like so far, they've shown off um, Marin from Link's Awakening, which I think is the first Link's Awakening character that they've added. So have someone else. Um, Ravio is in it. Yeah, yeah, Ravio. Which is the first Link Between Worlds character, I think. So it seems like they're just bringing in a bunch of randoms now, which is I really hope cool. They bring in Hilda. Oh, that is so cool, actually. Awesome. Zelda and Hilda, which are the ant names, and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think just like you only did it once and then I did it. Yeah. So like you didn't get a hang for it. It's like this one's using him better too. Like the, I, like the fact that they're unleashing more of his power means that they can like make him stronger and harder. Mm -hmm. But it's, the first one was good for a first fight with him and mm -hmm. this is a good progression. And like it's just a better fight all the time. Fight him a third time, right? I think so. We've been spoiling this game like a writer. I'm only watching this as a first <laughs> Ow. I feel like if anybody who's watching this has an already played it, I'm probably not going to. Dirty come down after you turn it off. I feel like it's so quiet now. I know, it's weird. I don't really know how to balance it, though. Seems like we're, like, louder than the game. <laughs> yeah! Fuck your combo. Nice. Enough of this foolishness. <laughs> I am Girahim, Demon Lord. Dude, you're not even. I don't want to spoil the game more. <laughs> it shouldn't matter how powerful your sword is, you are still nothing! Not just a human, a human child, and yet you prevail. Yeah, you weak bitch. You filthy scamp. <laughs> you little scamp. You have awakened a wrath that will burn for eons. I swear to you, whatever it takes, I will drag you. You into an eternity of torment. <laughs> I am gear him. <laughs> Demon Lord. <laughs> Ta ta for now. They call me the lucky grifter. They call me a space cowboy. <laughs> Look at those birds. Are those like the old loft wings? Mm -hmm. Right? They're like dodo birds, so they're extinct now. They're the first ukus. Uku. <laughs> <laughs> Is the volume better now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, is that an I or an L? 
I see games. I'll see games. I see games too. I see. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Dude, I got two heart containers in this dungeon. Wait, is that the boss door? That's great, because of the heart piece. Uh huh. That's great. I already came in that way, okay. Oh, look at the baby birds. Look at the baby birds. Look at the baby birds. Oh, ah. they're praying to the sun. Oh, no, 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 no. Right there. Look at around you. All around you. The, the statues. Look, okay, just like turn around. Turn around. All the way. See that bird? See him? All oh, the way. little tiny, <laughs> little tiny, like peepees. Yeah. Pe peepees. Peeps. Like little cheeps. Mm. Cheep cheeps. Cuties. Is this your first time playing Skyward Sword? No, this is my second time and you're like fifth time, but it's been a long time since both of us played it. So it's technically the first time. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is my third and final flame. It's red. He's about to do a cool dance. Like my hang. Yeah, she's about to show the fuck off. I'm ready. <laughs> Palms are sweaty. Knees weak. Arms spaghetti. Mom's ready. <laughs> <laughs> to make some spaghetti. <laughs> Dude, this is the final upgrade, isn't it? Or does it upgrade one more time after? Maybe like one more time once you see the Leviathan. LC Game says this is my favorite game of all time, so if you need help, ask. I've hundred percent it three times. Cool. That is some commitment. Mm. Okay. We'll try not to shit on it as much as we have been. <laughs> Cause I don't know, we've been I've been so annoyed at like the little things in this game like playing it through again i loved it for the first four like, times four times yeah i think <gasps> just like after playing breath of the wild it's not as good to me but... yeah just so different and like i still respect it as a good zelda game but i think there are better games but also being a favorite game is entirely subjective so cool way to talk now it's actually looking like the master sword i just need to like open the wings up Fush, fush, fush. But the story, I, I love the story in this game. I love the story, <laughs> yeah. The that, story is amazing, and the, the soundtrack is amazing, and there's so many new things that it brings out. Mm -hmm. It does do a lot of things really well, like, don't get me wrong. Uh, it's just... Uh, fee. Yeah, fee is one of my biggest problems with the game. Master, now that it has been tempered by the last of the secret flames. Like, and she's such a cool character, revealed. she just talks too much. Uh, yeah, that's her, her <laughs> only character flaw. <laughs> like, if she just didn't tell you what to do all the time, she'd be so much better. Mm. With the sword's great power, you can awaken the gate of time within the sealed temple. I recommend you make your way to this location. Gear him! I just fought Gear him. You don't think he's tailing me now? <laughs> like. <laughs> he's gonna know. He's, you're going back to the second gate that he just wanted you to show him. Uh huh. That's not good. Ugh. That's not a good idea, Fee. We have to fight Demise again, or we have to fight the Grimace. Mm. Uh, the imprisoned one. The imprisoned one, yes. The imprisoned one. Dun dun. Dun dun. Bom 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 bom. Where am I going? I'm green? Wait, so how many temples have I done so far? Two in each area? So there was the first temple, and there was the water temple. Then there was the electric temple, then there was... Wait, was there two temples? In the... Oh yeah, there was, and then the pirate ship. And then you do the fire temple and the fire sanctuary. So yeah, six temples so far. So then there's the seventh one, and then a really long. I'll see games join the moose crew. See if it works. <laughs> thank you Welcome for the follow. Welcome to the moose crew. Yeah, thank you for the follow. Yeah, I like Fee the character, not Fee the messenger. That's a really good way to say it. Yeah. I love oh. like I love her so much. I named a cat after her. <laughs> I learned her theme on the piano. <laughs> I played it every day for six years. Did you really? <laughs> <laughs> piano Temple is probably the quicker one. Wait, does the forest 
flooded right now? Or is it like soon? It's probably during the Leviathan side quest, if I had to make a guess. Mm. And did you notice how it made like a little Zelda? Da -na -na -na. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. I like that too. From the past. Mm. Hello. I mean, I've just heard that everywhere is a Zelda thing. Well, specifically from Link to the Past. <laughs> I got it from, like, I found a website where you can download, like, all the sound effects from every game. Mm. So I just went in there and found a nice one. <laughs> Bless butterflies. Mm -hmm. But I have absolutely no music ability whatsoever. Just go up to it and be like... Yeah, he's probably got, like, a nice, nice baritone in his voice. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Now I'm 36 followers toward my goal of 50. 72%. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, Ooh, I like the way that looks, too. Mm. Do you think this is any different now that plot has happened? Doesn't look much different. Yeah, unless maybe there's a body in there now. Was there ever a body to begin with? I don't think so. And it doesn't really look like there is one now. I feel like it's obvious once that happens. I forgot Bruce was here. He's just, <laughs> <laughs> He's just chilling. It's like, yeah, me and Imp have been chilling out down here. <laughs> we had some long talks about life, and I'm not an asshole anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now going to help you defeat Imprisoned One. Oh, fuck yeah, I have to fight that, don't I? That power is a sacred force! There's a divine power left to us by the gods of old. The same power that is spoken of in the Ballad of the Goddess. Oh yeah, and then the DLC for Breath of the Wild is Ballad of the Champions, I think. Mm. And then in Link to the Link's ow, ow, in Link's Awakening it's Ballad of the Windfish. Ooh. Good night, Kanano. Thanks uh, for your gotta get some sleep. Yeah, thanks for just lurking the whole time. Mm. I appreciate the view. <laughs> and I bet you appreciate the view. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Good night. Have have a good sleep. At 8 a.m. I respect that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now that you're... Hey, kitty. Now that the sacred force dwells within your blade, strike the gate of time with a skyward strike and it will surely awaken. I wonder why the skyward strike can't be done with any other... in any other game. Ah, I guess that's what... Like, you would... when you attack with full health in some games, it releases, like, the sword beam. Yeah, like in Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's, like... This is, like, the precursor to it. So let's fucking go, dude. And then we unlock it, and then it's like, oh, the um, oh, we didn't even get to. Okay. Whoa, ho, ho. Woo, ho, ho. It's 103. Oh, it's 203. Oh my god. We are. It's 203 right now. Yeah, I didn't even realize how late it was, or early. This here is Xerxes for LC Games. You haven't met him yet. Yeah, you were new. You must meet our animals. <laughs> it is likely that the monster reacted to the sacred power given off by your sword. I wish it had not happened, but there is no other way to open the gate. So as soon as I did it, it was like, oh, I'm awake. <laughs> I heard something weird going on. <laughs> I heard that ding. It sounded like my toaster oven. <laughs> you must imprison the beast once again. All right, bring it on. It's time to break out my new toy. Oh, I thought he doesn't help you until the third one. The Trust me. Bag of teeth. Oh, I thought he was talking about imp. <laughs> 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 the flabby flaggy, bag of teeth. Yeah, the fla flabby bag of teeth taught me this. What are we waiting for? I'm heading out there. He's adorbs. Can I have him? <laughs> no. Can I have him? It's very... Uh, <laughs> only if he can has cheeseburger. <laughs> only if he can has cheeseburger. <laughs> and then we have another cat, another black cat. Who is his sister, who we named Zelda. She's sleeping underneath the desk yeah, right now. We don't want to disturb her. No. And then we have another bigger, older cat named Mimsy. If you can if you understand that reference, then I have a lot, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Try not to drool on your shirt as you stare at this amazing super weapon I've been working on. It's a weapon of mass destruction. I found extra super big bombs. But yeah, where'd you fucking <laughs> find that? How did he carry that here without it blowing up in his face? He's just speechless, doesn't it? in the pump door. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, he just like, <laughs> reaches into the one thing <laughs> and, sticking like, up. And pulls out this <laughs> giant bomb. <laughs> Is, has are those smiley faces like telling a story <laughs> of like your reaction to the joke? <laughs> it's like, he can't have my cheeseburger. Like, mm, Alright, ah, that's ah, pretty funny. Ah, he can have it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
leaves you speechless, doesn't it? That's only natural. You wouldn't believe how much time I put into building this beauty. You know what I should get is a little widget that shows the chat. A little widget? Uh, yeah, like the follower goal is a widget. So I get another one that shows the chat. Oh, yeah! I could probably get one of those. And that way people know like what I can read. Like they don't know. You should there. totally get that. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize you didn't have that. I know, I should. I didn't think of it uh, earlier when I was working on this stuff. Well. It'd be nice though. Um, but yeah, you know, and then like on the right you have the chat, and then you just have a perfect scoop for the for the, uh, for the mm -hmm. dialogue. Oh yeah, plot. I don't know what came over me. I had no clue I had the talent to make something like this, you know. Anyhow, just tell me where you want me to place my shots, and I'll put hurt on that ugly monster. I don't care how beefy you are. You're bound to stumble for a few moments after taking one of my big bombs to the body. Oh, I'm beefs. loose. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, though. That monster showed up a smidge sooner than I would. Can you hurry up? This thing's about to take over the world. <laughs> no, he's like, let me just brag a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. uh, dude, I beat him earlier without your help. Yeah, twice. I hate, I hate to brag, but... I don't need your stupid bombs. Except for now he's stronger and you do need his bombs. Nah, fuck it. <laughs> he doesn't need to know that. I hear a loud car outside. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, loud car. Ah! He doesn't look so strong. Oh my god, he's got arms! Wait, did he have arms last time? This is the, that's no. the new edition, right? No, yeah, now he can fly too. Or like, Wait. Grab, or I don't think he can fly, but he can like pull himself up the... Wait, is this the second or the third time? Third. Really? I don't remember the second time. You don't? No! Seems like our ugly friend grew in itself a pair of hands. Great timing. I hope it knows how to catch because. Because remember, <laughs> the first time it was just you, and the second time Bruce was down here and he was useless. Really? Yeah, because he followed you down. Oh yeah, okay. That was like. Bruce has just been like, sitting on my shoulder for a while. But that was great, Bruce. I need you to be more often. I need you to be my new parrot cat. <laughs> yeah. That's what you've wanted him to be for a long time, too. Yeah, I'm glad he's, he's finally like, getting it. seems like you can throw about it. You just gotta, I just gotta, like, situate him up there more often. Yeah. I'll get used to it. Imprisoned equals Lucifer. Basically, right? Like. <laughs> yeah. I wonder he what the. Awakens and he's like this sealed darkness. Flabby sack of teeth. Tries to climb the wall. I can blast him here with a bomb. And you want some backup or something to send it up. We almost named Zelda Lucy for Lucifer. Yeah. <laughs> Cersei's and Lucifer. Now it's Cersei's and Zelda. I forgot that we were going to name her Lucy. Mm -hmm. I like that still. Just the position with the stick and aim at your target. Just finish aiming plus A. Watch the pitch and stun the I forget the controls plus two. Ah. Yeah, it was, it was either going to be Zelda, Lucy, or Fiona. Mm. I settled on Zelda. I yeah, I like Zelda. Me too. In fact, a mean punch, doesn't she? I tell ya, I was in love the first time I ever pulled this trigger. I start loading her back up with another bomb, so keep on battling Big Ugly. Jesus. Speed run! Um, yeah, I wonder what the backstory on Demise was. I don't remember if they go into it really. Because, like, I feel like he might have... He might actually be, like, the devil where he was, like, good and then he turned into the enemy. Like, he just became corrupted by power and he was like, I want to be strong. Oop. Demise. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Speed run! <laughs> he's just, like, flopped down and he was off. <laughs> yo, yo. He does that a lot. He's just so flopsy. Mm -hmm. Dude, are you seeing how quickly I'm beating this one? Yeah, you're doing very good. It's already like he hasn't even like gotten close. Oh. Is he? Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, you can get like a good look at the whole arena from here. Yeah. It's not a good use of them. I like how the music gets intense when he starts swarming up here. Mm -hmm. 
I also like how when you're fighting him, you're preventing him from getting up, and then at the end of the game, you work your way down. Mm. And, and that, like, gauntlet. Oh! Ooh, 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 okay. Oh, okay. I almost had it. Man! Fight through him. You know what you want. There's two toes down. I'm fucking need your bro. Ron. Think again. <laughs> Maybe I should have done that. I'm gonna spot it. Stunned. What was that? No! Freaking pinch on me. <laughs> I think I just got bit by a tube. <laughs> no! No! Ah, let me hit it from below before, but not this time. Yeah, speed run! Anytime I do like anything kind of impressive, I'll shout speed run! <laughs> <laughs> First two times? Is that how like he would disappear? Yeah. I wish I remembered more. <laughs> so? Yeah. I'm gonna does this thing again? This unskippable ass cutscene. Oh, look at Zirkle. He's so cute. Mm. How Astard? Strike the ceiling spot. I've done this before. <laughs> Off. I know this is the third time you've done this, yeah. but <laughs> listen to me. Again. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it suck if you didn't do it in time and you had to fight the whole fight again? Dun 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 dun. That's all it takes, and I have to do it again. I like it how, the, how it has the three symbols on it. Mm. I like that this is harder each time. What? The seal. What was it the first two times? Do you remember? Uh, first, it was just a triangle. Mm. And I don't remember what it was the second time. Yeah. I don't know why Xerxes enjoys this. It just like doesn't look comfortable. I know. We just kind of scrunched into a half ball. <laughs> and I'm just like holding him up. And <laughs> he's like, "Yeah, you're right. This isn't comfortable. Let me move." <laughs> uh. Uh. Nice work there, Astrid. Of course, you wouldn't have done it without me, but no need to thank Cruz. I know I saved your tail. Now let's get to that get to that gate of time thing up and running and something. And something. I'm not really reading, I'm just kind of assuming what he's saying. Yeah, hitting the cliff notes, you know. Here we go. Oh. Wait, is this where I'm supposed to go? What? I don't know, he's just like... Trying to get into position. Hey, that's where the big bomb is. How do you do that? 
Yeah. <laughs> if only you could pocket those bombs, oh, like there's an upgrade for your bomb oh, bag. Maybe, maybe there is if I buy the big bomb bag. Maybe. Oh. And you can carry the big bombs. The biggest bomb bag. In, uh, in Four Swords Adventures, the gimmick, like it's a level-based game and usually each level will have like one to several items that you can pick up. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't keep them throughout the game, but, like, in one area you'll get a bow, and then in another area you'll get bombs and stuff like mm -hmm. that, you know? That's cool. And, um, yeah, and certain levels will have, uh, great fairies where you can choose an item to throw in and they'll upgrade it. And so, like, if you get the bomb, then it's just a giant-ass bomb. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Which just made me think of it. Four Swords Adventures. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to get to that. Mm-hmm. It's, it's my favorite 2D game, I think. Like, purely 2D. I'm going to not count Link Between Worlds, because it's like 2.5D. Two 2.5D. And a two and a you know? D. Yeah. Duh. Oh. What happens after this? Do you remember? Uh, you go back in time, and then Ooh. do some stuff, and then the game's over. <laughs> I don't. To answer your question, I don't remember. We haven't even met the third dragon yet. Mm. And we still have to do flooded um, forest. Right. Um, we Scour haven't even Temple. seen Zelda get locked up in a crystal. Yeah, right? Spoilers! <laughs> now that we fought that boss for the third time, now you can continue with the game. Mm. Could have just left it, but no. Get, a, get out of that sandwich. I also like the Gate of Time a lot. Just, mm. it's like four-dimensional ass looking yeah it's really water. cool yeah oh gruesy bitch he's like i can't handle the light <laughs> it's like a goddess cube except not mm, tons of them yeah this paw touched my arm and it freaked me out a little bit <laughs> it's a little baby it's just a little baby They're like pokey cubes. Instead what? Of pokey balls. What do you mean? Oh, because they have like the lines going through the middle. Imagine a world where they're pokey cubes. <laughs> <laughs> that is this world. It's weird so, how it turns into this, but it's cool. It is cool. I like this. Mm -hmm. And like, just like those gears come in from like the fourth dimension and this is just because you've upgraded your sword right you have to strike it with like a uh, uh, yeah, upgraded sword i think is i think that's yeah like we open this up and then mm. she was like hey you're, you're not strong enough yet bye <laughs> go fucking level up yeah go level go grind, grind for a while <laughs> <laughs> he's like cool now what <laughs> that's it and you beat ganon saber yet i just want to <laughs> go back to bed <laughs> <laughs> I know, Zelda woke me up early. I've just been dragging this whole adventure. Seriously. I've been up for like 26 hours. <laughs> Standing before you is the path that transcends the flow of time. It is a portal to the past, and you are a link to the past. To the very place where Zelda now awaits. Go bravely, Astrid. If everything is as I suspect, the reunion of Zelda, you fought so hard for lies beyond this gate. <laughs> I don't know why I emphasize that stuff. Lies beyond this gate. Of course. Are those lyrics for a song? Did you see that? Or, well, what? no, it's for a song. Mm. Don't worry about me. I'm going to hang back here. That's right. Because you see your place. You're not the hero, you bitch. Someone's going to. I'm tired. Yeah, same. You want to finish up? Mm hmm. Okay. Besides, if I'm not here, who's gonna look out for the old girl? She's been fine for literally a hundred years without you. Yeah, dude. Kitty. <gasps> oh, oh squirt him. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> oh, <I don't... laughs> you can't put that on stream. That's... <laughs> it's not animal abuse. You saw it. He was an ass. <laughs> he grabbed my fucking <laughs> bun of my Wendy's burger. He does that all the time. Your hand smells like ketchup. I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. I smell like ketchup too. Little ketchup is potent. I didn't notice right? until today. I hate it. And you pointed it out to me. Ugh, I hate the smell of ketchup. You ever tried ketchup flavored potato chips? Ew. You ever tried 
pickle flavor potato chips. You know what? Um, have you ever had voodoo chips? Voodoo? Voodoo. Who do the voodoo? The voodoo chips do the voodoo. What is it called? Voodoo chips. No, never had them. Well, they taste like a combination of barbecue, salt, vinegar, and ketchup. That's weird. It's really weird, but for I some reason it. it works. Yeah, it's I delicious. It. <laughs> it's like a meatloaf chip. Yeah, and I like this. Oh, that sounds good, actually. A meatloaf chip. <laughs> like, look at this. I like this a yeah, lot. Yeah, I like this, and it's like a... And, like, it's still like a fucking gear, but you can mm. go through it. And that's This is a good like demonstration of a of a of a wormhole you know it reminds me of stanley parable how many endings did we get from that most of them mm. pretty much what pretty much played all of it yeah i don't remember what we have and have not done but it might be fun to play it on stream a little bit mm. hey. i would start it all over again in a year if you wanted to wait okay <laughs> i also like how you walk in on this side but you come out on this side so it is like a, mm. like a, t a portal through time but in the same location yeah like it is like a really good demonstration of the fourth dimension and shit mm. then you come here and then you plant a tree and talk to her and then some shit goes down and then you come over here and then you grab the bottle before i ever pick it up in the future causing a time warp that destroys the universe spoiler uh, nobody even understands what you're saying <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to see, like, where I can and can't go right now. Because I don't know. Mm. I might even just be contained in this room forever. Do you want to finish up? Or do you want to talk to Impa? I want to finish up. Okay. It'll be a good way to start the next one. Yeah. So we're like done right for here. now. Yeah. We're, we're, we're done for now. I'm going to save again because you can never be too careful. <laughs> mm. uh, two and a half hours. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I was expecting a longer thing, but yeah. we can play again, like, tomorrow night when mm. we get back. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect it to crash so early in, I know. My, in my brain. Uh, thank you for the follow, LC Games, if you're still here. Yeah. And you can f subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'm going to be uploading this sometime soon. And I've also uploaded the whole rest of our Skyward Sword playthrough, <laughs> if you're interested. Um, die! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't um, do anything wrong, except for insult you in the beginning. Yeah, right? <laughs> You're too late. Fuck you. You um, are unfit to protect this girl. Yeah, but you are. Where is she now? Huh? Where is she now? <laughs> uh, uh, so we'll probably stream maybe tomorrow night. Mm. Probably the night after that. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you every other night, because I work a lot next week. Six days next week. So we'll see what happens. But, yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> Say bye. 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 <laughs>